the key element of setting boundaries in your life is that the boundaries need to be grounded. So today I want to talk a little bit about the difference between grounded boundaries and ungrounded boundaries. So when you have an ungrounded boundary, oftentimes the way that happens is like this. You feel like a victim. You realize that people have been trespassing into certain areas of your life. You don't appreciate it. And you set a boundary. The problem is that the boundary that you set is conceptual. It's in your head, but it's not really anchored in your body, in your subjective reality. So, for example, you can't call me after 10 at night. Okay. But if you're curious about why they're calling after 10 at night and then you answer the phone and then you have a million little reasons for, you know, why you answer the phone, they say, well, you told me not to call after 10 at night. I was just going to leave a message, but then you answered. It's because in your head, you thought, I don't want people calling me after 10 at night. But now there's a little drama that interests me. And so if they call me at, after 10 at night, I'm going to answer because I need to know the answer. Because every time they leave me a message, they never tell me any information. All they do is just say, oh, I guess you're not back. I'll try you later. And then you're unsatisfied. So what happens? Your mental curiosity overrides your boundary that you only sent set in a mental kind of way. A grounded boundary is, number one, before I tell you, you cannot call me after 10. I have to think really hard. Do I mean it? Am I going to be able to maintain that boundary? Am I going to be able to hold that rule? What am I going to do when I've really wanted to hear from somebody? Maybe I haven't heard from them for a week or two or whatever length of time. And now they're calling me after 10. Am I going to be able to not do that, not answer the phone? Or knowing myself, am I going to answer the phone? Now, this might sound really nitpicky. This might sound like, well, why are you worried about that? Well, the fact is most of the drama in people's relationships come from their inability to set a clear boundary. If they do set a clear boundary, they don't maintain that boundary. And a lot of times their boundaries are very reactive. Their boundaries are something that they make up on the spot to remedy the thing they're pissed off at right now this minute. That's not a grounded boundary, okay? Now, for example, let's say I know myself, and I know that if I'm curious about this person that I haven't heard from in a while, that I'm going to probably pick up that phone, even if it's after 10 at night. So what do I do about that? Well, this is part of the boundary setting process. What you do about that is you set a boundary that is honest and that indicates what you're going to do. So, for example, you don't say, don't call me after 10. You say, I generally turn my phone off after 10, or I generally do not answer my phone after 10, or... I put my phone in another room and it's off and whatever. And so if you call me after 10 and I don't pick up, I don't respond in any way, 
please understand that's why. I probably am not going to even know that you called until the next day. That way, if they call after 10, you have the option to pick up the phone. And if they say, oh, I thought you said you always put the phone in the other room. Yeah, I was just doing it right when you called. <laughs> um, or tonight, I'm I'm waiting for a call from so-and-so. So you called on the lucky night where I'm available to talk after 10. No boundary has been violated. You did not tell them they can't call after 10. You told them, don't get pissed if you call after 10 and you don't hear from me till the next day. That's clear. That's grounded. That's not something you're going to have to go back on. And also, if you pick up the phone after 10, you're not being inconsistent. You're not setting boundaries that you cannot maintain. Because you didn't say, I will never, never, never pick up the phone after 10. Obviously, sometimes I will. I'm just prepping you for not being in contact with me then. So this is the thing. We have to construct our boundaries. You know, in a lot of ways, it's going to feel almost legalistic. It's going to feel like this is, this is kind of... Um, you know, this is too much. I'm thinking too much about this. Why do I have to go through this whole process? Well, the fact is that you might want to go through this process if you want to have less drama in your life and you want to have people respecting your boundaries. So what would be the boundary in this situation? The implicit, the unspoken boundary here would be if you call me after 10 and you don't hear from me and I we don't connect, I have warned you. That is a highly likely scenario. And if we do, you got lucky. No big deal. Okay, so it's really important that you have grounded boundaries. And grounded means you've really sat down, you've really thought about it, you've thought about all the contingencies that you possibly can. I mean, you know, don't go too overboard with overthinking this stuff, but you've thought of all these contingencies for what would make me backslide on these boundaries. Because the thing is, when you make a big boundary, then, and then you back down on it, and if you do that very often at all, sometimes only once is required, you lose credibility. And all the rest of your boundaries will not be respected just like this one. Because you have shown the world you don't really stand for your boundaries. So what are your boundaries in that instance? Are they just you whining about what somebody just did that you didn't like and then you spout off some boundary that you're never going to uphold that weakens you that drains your power and you cannot manifest the life you want doing it that way what you will manifest is endless drama and if that's what you like then don't worry about boundaries. <laughs> if you love the drama, you know, boundaries are not your friend. But if, if you'd rather not have so much drama in your life, you might want to consider very grounded boundaries. Anyway, I'm doing a workshop uh, this June 9th. That's a Sunday night between 5 and 7 on boundary setting, boundary repatterning. It's going to be like a group healing with a little uh, guided hypnotic journey involved. And it's in Los Feliz at Solates on uh, Hillhurst. And uh, anyway, if you're interested in that, andysway at yahoo.com. And we can set you up, sign you up for the workshop. Otherwise, 
I hope this helps you in your quest to have better boundaries. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.